Hey you guys, this is Multikiller Joan. I'm signing in with a game review and I am reviewing SteamWorld Dig 2. I never got to play SteamWorld Dig 1 or, you know, the first SteamWorld Dig game. So, I didn't know what this game was about. I recently got it uh from the Freedom Family, so I have to do a review on it. And so far, um it's actually a pretty good game. The point of it is, there's this girl robot and her friend, which I guess is the guy from the first game, is lost and she's got to find him. So she's got to basically gear up, get money and, what is it, diamonds, gold and ores and stuff, and gear up and... I guess go save him. I, I don't exactly know the point of the game, but basically there's a lot of puzzles puzzles in it and stuff like that. Um, because if you dig straight down and stuff and you get certain ore, you can accidentally like dig the wrong way or dig under because it's not like it's not like Terraria or other games to where you could just like dig straight up. Yes, you can jump and grapple on walls and stuff, but uh, you can't use your pickaxe by going up, up. You can only go up one block with it. It's really confusing to explain, but you can, you can mine up, but if you jump up and you try to mine while you're jumping, you can't keep digging up, so you've got to be careful on how you on how you dig so it can be a bit of a puzzle but you get these you get these um abilities and different um gear and stuff to help you continue your journey and like i can say it's a bit of a puzzle as you can see because uh, i found that secret passage and you can all there's also bosses in it. I've only gone up against one. I don't have footage of that, but it's really amazing. This game is worth a try. It should be um, on Steam. I'll have a link in the description below. Tell me what you guys think about this game. Um, basically, the point is to build up your money buy upgrades and upgrade your cogs by the cogs that you find and stuff like that um cogs are these things that um give you to the ability to do more things with the items and gear that you've geared up with um it's pretty simple and also um the deeper you go you'll find um mine elevators that you can just go straight up and stuff like that so the game is really interesting like that um and you can only mine regularly if you're not in like a dungeon for a bit because your light will go out that's also a cool feature so if you kind of want a raymond like game but to where you gear up and you just keep get gearing up and, you, and it's a bit of a puzzle and you have to be careful on how you dig. This is the game for you guys. Uh, I know this has been a short review, but you know, I can't tell you too much about the game. You would have to play it. I suggest having um, an Xbox 360 controller and playing it like that because even the game suggests it and it feels really nice when you do. The buttons are a bit confusing, but besides that, I'd give this game a full on 10. Thank you for watching guys. This has been Multikiller Joe and I'm signing out.